Hey everyone, uh, tonight I'm doing another gear prep segment in anticipation for my Father's Day fly fishing trip to Central PA at the end of the month, like I discussed in the opening video of the segment, um, in the series if you will. And tonight I'm doing gear prep along the lines of my camera setup, um, assessing where I last left it, I haven't used it in a little while. Um, so I want to show you my setup, show you what I'm using, and to kind of explain uh, that whole setup. So um, I'm going to be capturing a lot of this trip on video. Um, look forward to that. Look forward to sharing that with you. And um, my setup is going to be very simple. Two cameras, one being my camera in my hand right now, which is an iPhone 11 iPhone 11 um, or mo many smartphones are very capable of delivering very, very high quality pictures and videos. iPhone is great. Um, so I'm gonna be using that for a lot of my still shots. Um, I have a, a protective life proof case that is water resistant, shock proof resistant. So I'm not overly worried about damaging my phone. You can't be an idiot about it. Just, you know, use it cautiously. Um, and my other camera to capture first person point of view, I have an older, um, GoPro Hero 4, um, when I say older, I'm not sure what generation we're on right now for GoPro. I think it's Hero 8. So there's been several updates, but this shoots just fine. Um, it can't shoot 4k, um, but, um, this is, um, Cable of 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is more than fine for my purposes. Um, these iPhones right now, apparently I'm shooting in 4K 60 frames per second. I had no idea that this could do that. So that's kind of cool. So let me show you my setup. Um, I also will be doing editing back at camp. Um, and I'll tell you about the camp in another segment. But um, the long and short of it, I'll be... I'll be editing video um, e in the evenings after I kind of get back and settle in after a day of fishing. And my vehicle has a, uh, um, a standard electric plug, which I didn't know. I didn't discover that a couple days ago. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of editing in the evening from the day's uh, adventure. Um, with that being said, let me show you the setup. So there is my, um, my computer standard uh, Asus. Um, I'll be bringing that with me, um, which is nice because I can plug that right into my car. That'll be cool. Um, I do a lot of my storing. I immediately take the video off my um, GoPro or my phone, and I'll be putting it on to this. This is a Passport, um, an Ultra Passport. This can store up to 5 terabytes. 5 terabytes. That's a crap load of memory. I mean, I have videos dating all the way back to um, when I first got my GoPro in 2015 here. I keep this safe. It's got all my childhood, uh, my children growing up on it. It's got all my kids' pictures, uh, my kids' videos from when they're, I mean, I treasure this. This is very, anything were to happen to this, I'd be heartbroken. But that is extremely reliable. I highly recommend that if you're, storing a lot of video you don't want to store it on your computer and take up your hard drive get a passport um because i know you know some folks are storing the cloud but some places charge for that you do a one-time cost for this there's gonna be no um unless you're like a producer or something there's you'll be hard pressed to run out of space on that so that's my i uh i store video content off my device and put it on here and then i'll press actual <clears throat> do my editing and pull the content off, the raw unedited content off this device and process it into my computer, my editing software. Still working on um, optimizing the editing software. My cousin has uh, found a good solution. I kind of, over the years, have utilized a GoPro software for ed video editing. Um, currently use an open shot, but my cousin has since found a better solution, which I will be uh, utilizing. Um, for my editing and once I um, do that I'll show that to you. Here is the mobile um my um travel case for my GoPro. So I have the I'll have the selfie stick. The selfie stick I'll use for my on um, my iPhone. I'm gonna get an iPhone holder. 
Uh, the, the selfie stick can house a tripod uh, base. This is the tripod base. And uh, so I'll be utilizing that for my iPhone uh, still shots and walking to the stream, um, talking about the conditions and so forth. Then there's my GoPro Hero 4 that I always kind of have this nice handheld, and but this is also a tripod as well. <clears throat> so that's that's my kind of how I'm holding the cameras. And then, you know, everyone that has a GoPro has all the accessories, um, you know, all the screws and bolts, all that stuff. I put that all here. I'm not going to go into detail on that. That's pretty straightforward. But that's that's the setup. Now, when I'm, when I'm using the GoPro actually in the field, um, I will do it one or two ways. There's the chesty. Okay, you put that around your chest. It's pretty straightforward. And then there's the the head the head setup. Now, um, one of these I got from my buddy Marco, and then another one I came with this kit. Um, they both are the same thing. One is more comfortable than the other. I prefer the GoPro um, head strap. Let me show that to you real quick. Just how it fits better. This is the one my buddy gave me. He doesn't use it. He didn't like the feel of it. But, you know, that's pretty straightforward. You put the GoPro on your head. Um, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Um, I basically, I'll do whatever gives the best uh, um, first person view. Probably likely the head, the head uh, mount. Um, just want to make sure I wear a long bill cap when I'm, when I'm fishing. And I don't want my, my bill to interfere with the image. So I'll fill that out when I'm over there. Batteries. Now, anyone that does a lot of field, um, a field work with GoPros knows that batteries, you, um, if you're shooting in, in really high definition, will drain. So I have two backup batteries, okay, that are in a charger, and this was also very handy because it'll also be plugged in to uh, my car. I'll bring a surge protector um, to to charge the batteries, and then um, also. Another thing that I wanted to show you in terms of um, making sure you always have a charge, a charge for your can, a charge for your phone, a charge for your batteries, a charge for your camera. I bought this battery last year. Um, it came for a different purpose, um, for a fish finder, and I was like, "Holy crap! This is pretty neat for just general usage." It is a Noqua. Um, adventure gear battery okay this thing is a it's a it's pretty heavy when I say heavy like probably five pounds or less but it's a it's a legit battery that stores a charge for quite some time so I used it all last summer at the lake for like listening to music in my golf cart and stuff and it held a charge I mean it has an indicator on here um, it held a charge for like 48 hours all the way down to, you know, it tells you down to 25 to 0%. And I was like, you know, we can use that for music, but what about when it comes to hunting season? And, you know, when you're in hunting season, you bet your phone, you're out in the woods and you're kind of waiting for some action. You're looking just sort of hanging out, cruising the internet. Um, your phone dies because it's so cold out. So I looked online and there was an adapter for this that you can plug in USB drives uh, because it, it was originally meant for charging my fish finder. Uh, there was an adapter to charge that you could plug into it, which I have right here, to plug in the USB. So you plug that into the to this cord here after you have a, after you charge your battery. Here's a here's the the charger from 110 volt connects to the battery. But then when you're ready to use it, you unscrew that and then you plug it and you and you screw in this to it and you can charge your phone. Um, so when I'm sleeping at night and I want I don't want to leave my car running because you need to if you want to charge, if you want to use the if you want to use the electric plug in your car, you need to have the car running. I don't want to have my car running all night. It's freaking stupid. So what I'll do is. I will, if I need to charge my phone overnight or charge my GoPro batteries for the next day, I'll just use that battery. Go to bed, sleep sleep like a baby, and I'll wake up with fully charged batteries. And then when I want a video edit, I will start that process. I'll have to have the car turned on because um, this can only house USB. It can't house any 
other sort of um, other um, electric plugin. But that's, you know, I'm not going to be editing for hours. At least get some content downloaded and start that process. But that's that's the setup. Um, again, summary, GoPro and iPhone, uh, nothing crazy. Um, backup batteries, um, high, highly recommend that, with, especially with GoPros, especially if you're shooting in HD. Um, this Noqua NACQA Adventure Gear um, battery, highly recommend that. A lot of kayakers use it, a lot of canoers use it. People with fish in out of kayaks use this. This is a great battery, highly recommend it, especially if you use it for other things. You could use it for hunting, um, if you're going hiking trips and uh, you don't have access to electric, that is a great way to get you through. So that is my setup. Just make sure I'm charged, do an assessment on where the gear is. I'm not in too bad a shape. And um, I think I'm good from the camera standpoint. So I'll pack this all away. And that's one thing off my list I don't have to worry about. So thanks for uh, watching this video and stay tuned for the next uh, gear product.